All right, Auto One, we're going to be showing you right now a little bit about service information systems. We're going to look at ProDemand.com by typing into our browser. And when we go there, we get this login page, and we're going to click right here in the center on login. And Mitchell ProDemand is our service information for service procedures and specifications. Our uh, username is SOHS 2019, and our password is Tigers 2019, and I'll click login. And then what will come up on the screen is this. Um, and it'll ask you the year of the car. So we're going to look at a 2005 uh, Toyota Tundra. And so we'll go down here to Tundra, down to the bottom of the screen. Um, and we'll find, there it is. Um, we'll go Tundra, and, or sorry, Toyota. And now we're going to Tundra, and we'll click Tundra. And now it asks us for an engine. This is a 4-liter V6 or a 4.7-liter V8. Um, the VIN U or VIN T is the eighth digit of the vehicle identification number. If it's a U, you know it's got a 4-liter engine. If it's a T, it's a 4.7. We've got a 4.7. And it wants to know something about the submodel. Is it a base model, a limited, or an SR5? This one's an SR5. Then it wants to know if it's a pickup or a pickup with an extra cab. It's got an extra cab. Now, is it four-wheel drive or is it rear-wheel drive? Ours is rear-wheel drive only. And we're going to click Use This Vehicle. And now, what you have across the screen is all of these menu options. And you have a search bar. The search feature on this uh, service information system is pretty good. Notice it tells us up here that it's an 05 Toyota Tundra 4.7 engine, and it's an SR5. So the places where you're going to go most often are fluid capacities here, um, reset procedures there, maybe a DTC or diagnostic trouble code index where you want to plug in a code or a wiring diagram. Service information or service manual gives all of the categories of menu options. And then so they've got, you know, common DTCs, common symptoms, common lookups, all kinds of things. We're going to go to fluid capacities. And when we click on this page, you guys can see that we've got all of our fluids and our fluid capacities listed. So if I scroll down here to engine oil, there it is. It says engine oil, 4.7 liter engine, drain and refill with filter. It takes 6.5 quarts or 6.2 liters. And they tell you to use SAE 5W30, that's Society of Automotive Engineers, 5 weight 30. It's a multi-viscosity oil. It's pretty normal for most most every car today. If I wanted to look up um, oh, engine coolant, there it is there. It says to use Toyota super long life coolant or equivalent. Um, and if I wanted to find anything else on fluids, there it is. If I go up here to the right corner, I can hit print and I can hit print and it will print that page for me. Um, I'm not going to print it at this time, but just showing you how you can do that. If I go over here and hit this X, I'll close that, and I can go back to my menu items. So I'm going to look at wire diagrams and give you an idea of the sophistication of this program. So we click System Wiring Diagrams, and then we'll go to Engine Performance. And I don't know why I did that, but let's go to Engine Performance, and we scroll down here. Oh, it asks for engine. I'm 4.7, and here's our wiring diagram. And so there's all, all these wires that you're looking at, these colored wires are wires, or these colored lines are wires. And what's interesting, if you put your, um, typically when you put your cursor on it, let's see if it'll do it if I, yeah, nope, that's going to, yeah, if I put my, um, once I select it and I blow it up, I can put my cursor on it, and it'll highlight that wire. And I can highlight those wires like that so it's easier to see. And if I go and um, uh, let me go back here for one second. Um, let me go like this. If I go my left, and I can move this around, um, and I can look down and look to find something. And if I go, okay, it's not on here, and I want to go to the next page, then I just close this guy right here. And now I can um, scroll to the next page and this by the way this says access and standard cab and the one I have is an access cab um, but I can look at different items on here and for example this one has a heated oxygen sensor and it shows me the wires coming to it and wire color and I can print this wiring diagram 
But anyways, in any case, I'm giving you an idea of this service information system. That's uh, Mitchell uh, Protomian.